Hello there, person. Welcome to another video of making the game Wraith Binder. Let's check out what's new this week. Um, what the heck is new? Oh yeah, I just refreshed my memory before doing all this. Um, oh yeah, oh yes, oh yes. Check out all this new stuff. Man, I'm surprised at how much I actually got done this week. Um, first thing, we have a new kills menu, or the kills menu itself is finished now. So, um, actually, let's turn on something that will illustrate this. Uh, I'm going to turn on a test so that I automatically have some kills, and it kind of looks better this way. Um, so we'll turn this on, and I'll press the debug button, and it will end the match early, but we'll have some kills so you can see the kills screen and see, uh, see what it looks like. So this is neat because in local multiplayer mode, maybe even in online multiplayer mode, play I think it might actually work this way where you play to a certain number of kills so even though you become an MVP of the match if you're the last one left alive uh, you also get kills for every every um, living player that you kill you get a, a kill for basically so if I press the 5 button here I pressed 4 <laughs> let me press the 5 button it's gonna go to early victory oh, I'm the only player Let's, let's fix that. Let's make sure the speed is zero too and give us some bots and we'll run again. This time we'll be able to see a better looking kills menu. Here we go. So it quickly went to this kills screen because I've got that test kills on. But this is what it is. It's tallying up how many kills each player got. And as soon as the this animation is finished, you're able to press a button and it resets the match. So we go back to um, the same starting positions and everything. Looks like there's a little bug here refreshing the world. It only happens sometimes, but if I you know go off screen enough, it fixes it. But the point is, you, you reset the match, and you get to play again, but this time you get to play to more kills. So if I go kill some more people here, there's a guy, let's kill him with the debug buttons. And we'll kill this guy over here, and we'll end the match early. And now, uh, last time I think I had five kills, I should have seven kills now. Yeah. So this is what it looks like. And um, it's really nice to have this feature finished. I've had this kind of halfway working for the last few weeks, months even, shoot. Uh, but yeah, now it works completely and it's got a nice little animation. And there's probably a few more little touches I can do to make it better, but it's really great to have it um, working as it is so far. Okay, so the next couple things um, that got done this week um are let's check out the new creeps there's some new creeps there's super creeps basically that happen every once in a while i'm gonna go back to zero bots so we can make this really quick and easy to um illustrate and uh we'll open up the ai's behavior tree here for the spawner and we'll make it so it's pretty much guaranteed that we'll create the here We'll do turn off this one. We'll turn off this one, and we'll do this super creep B, which is a big fat creep. You'll see. They're really funny looking, and they got a nice waddle. They waddle around the screen. So these guys are big and fat, and they have tons of health, and they're slower than the little the littler uh, creeps. And this is kind of what they look like. So. Gotta let 15 seconds go by. And here we go. Here they are. Waddling around. Ah, uh, yeah, that's their regular speed. I love these guys. So they have a ton of health, and they do a little bit more damage than uh, the regular creeps, too. So, and they take a while to spawn. So they, ha they have to have, um, the match has to have been running for at least two minutes for them to even spawn. And they have a random variable that makes them so they're less likely to spawn than uh, regular uh, guys. And they also count themselves up. So if there's, um, if there's already one or if there's already two of them nearby, I think, 
Um, it basically just makes it so there can only be two of them nearby a base at any any point. So if there's already two of these guys here, it shouldn't spawn anymore, but I think I turned off that piece of... Yeah. Nope. Huh. I wonder why it spawned so many of those. Uh, here, let's go ahead and... Nah, we don't need to test this right now. <laughs> I was very tempted to just debug this right now. Just remembered I'm re recording a video, though. Okay, so anyways, let's go... Um, Let's go uh, turn off the creep B, and we'll show you the creep C. Let's look at these guys. These guys are fun, too. We're going to turn off the if lifetime and the if ran, so they just happen every time. And start the match. Speed up some time. Let the 15 seconds go by. Okay. We're back to regular speed, right? Yeah, there we go. Regular speed. Here they are. They're tiny. They got little weird heads. They're fast, and they explode. So same thing with these guys. Uh, there has to be, um, you know, uh, a certain number of minutes has to elapse, and there's a random variable to make make sure they don't um, spawn so often, and there's also a counter to make sure there's not too many of them on screen at once. Why are they not... S oh, yeah, because it be 40, has to be 45 seconds. Okay. Um, so, yeah. There you have it. There's the new types of creeps. Really fun to have those in there now rather than just the regular old little creeps. These guys are your standard creeps that just spawn out. Um, we've got this big old fat creep and this fast old bomber creep too. So, what's next? Uh, what else is new this week? Refresh my memory. Oh yes, a couple cool things. This is really, um, man, the, for half this whole week I've just been worried as heck about this bug. Man, there was this bug that was crashing the game so randomly. It would happen in a different line of code every time. It would happen at a different time in the match every time. And it was I was it was so elusive and it was so daunting. Like what the heck? How am I supposed to solve this? And all I knew was that it was probably a buffer overflow or something like that. Um, so what I did is I actually stepped back through uh, through my git history and went back in time to a point where I was like, I think about then I didn't have this bug. Ran it, let the game run for a few minutes. It was like, you know what? Uh, the bug hasn't happened? Okay, cool, we're at a good commit. So um, I just kept going forward in time until I found the commit that actually caused this bug. Let's, let me just illustrate. Let's show you what, exactly what was going on here. I had this function AI component called set recent targets. And it looks something um, like like this. Basically, um, it was, <laughs> no, 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 it was like this. Recent index equals recent index plus one mod. If I can even press the mod key. C num building recent targets. So if you're an avid coder, you can instantly spot what probably is the issue here. The operator precedence one this is actually what this is what the compiler sees here is a little bit different than what i see as a human being maybe different what you see as a human being too what the compiler is actually seeing is this so it was, it, essentially what that was doing is incrementing recent index every single time it, it did this piece of code here and what was happening was that see basically this is this is this is called whenever a uh, an, an ai sets a target it goes Oh, I got a target right here. It sets a target. It says, oh, I, I targeted entity number 128. And uh, it goes and lists, it stores it as a recent target. So what it was doing here is it was stopping over memory anywhere in the in the, all of the entities of the code base. It was going, just increment the recent index, increment the recent index, increment the re recent index, and then eventually would overflow. And this call right here, recent targets, recent index equals id, would be just stomping over random memory all anywhere it wanted. Super, super rude of it. I mean, who does that? Who does that? So very, very nice to have this daunting and elusive bug fixed. Um, you can see what I did here to just to prevent it was to um, just increment the recent index, but then mod it before I use it. So that's a super noob mistake. I can't believe I made this mistake, but Hey, embarrassment aside, I let go of it. I'm on a new things, um, and I'm 
Gosh, the euphoria I felt after fixing this was incredible. So maybe it was worth it for that. And um, here's another cool thing that actually got fixed this week. For the longest time, my shadows haven't been working. And they're they're a point of pride in this this voxel engine I've created to make to make Wraith Binder with. And uh, without the shadows working, it was subtle. Like you just you know, it, the game still played the same. It still kind of looked mostly the same, but it didn't quite feel the same without those shadows. Look how beautiful those shadows are. Oh, I love it. They look so good. I fixed the shadows this week with the same method. I stepped backwards in time. It was actually early December that I had made. They introduced this little bug and didn't notice that I, the shadows were gone. And somewhere in January, I was like, man, the shadows are gone. How do I fix them? Tried a few times to fix them intuitively, look through the code base. But I had to use this whole roll back the git, git repo method, and it worked. So I found the bug, and it was just pretty simple, too. Um, it was uh, in Animate 3D. Not Animate 3D. Animate Render. It's in render system, and it's in repaint voxels. Here we go. Yeah. So um, it was something like this. Basically, I had commented out this thing entirely. This is where it's going in repainting voxels. So there's lot there's this lots of steps to painting voxels. It has to go and erase the old voxels. Then it has to go and erase the scheduled erases. And then it has to go and repaint voxels. Anything that has been erased can cause a repaint, which means that, hey, I just erased myself. There's no voxels here. So, hey, let's go ahead and repaint what entities were there. The reason it has to repaint other entities is because um, there's only one voxel allowed in the depth buffer, buffer at any point. Because if I allowed more than one voxel, it would be huge. The depth, the depth buffer is pretty big because it has to be there for the entire... Um, arena size, the entire battleground. So we're talking, you know, 4,000 by 4,000 pixels. So it's a lot of memory it can use up if you're um, if you're getting uh, too generous with how much uh, data you're using. So uh, that's why it repaints. Um, and um, basically, what it, what I thought I thought that erasing wasn't necessary for paint models. For when for when you're repainting models because it just it's just gonna go paint them again anyways if you're if you're repainting what you're essentially doing is erasing and then painting straight up right away again but that caused some issue with my shadows and I'm not sure exactly um, why this fixes this but I put this erase call back in and it works and it didn't introduce too much um, to the uh, the overall performance it didn't hit the performance too bad so I'm just like you know what let's just leave it like this for now the shadows are fixed so that's a huge victory too fixed shadows love that um, there was what else was it that I was gonna share there's a couple more things that got done we got oh levitation that's right this is really fun uh, other than that other than levitation there's a lot of little tweaks and stuff to the AI that make the AI a lot smarter I've been watching the AI play itself for minutes at a time you know a good five minute match goes by and then they do lots of interesting stuff and they're smarter um, so but I won't cover that too much more I'm sure this video is getting too long so we're gonna we're gonna cover uh, levitation so um, yeah let's just let's hack our way through this um, by that I mean I'm just going to use a bunch of debug things because it would take a long time to actually get levitation. So the way it works is you get boots. Boots are your, is one of your abilities, right? I've got all abilities on right now, which means that it's a, a little debug hack which gives me all the abilities. But normally what hap happens is you start Wraithbinder, you level up. Every time you level up you get another ability. You get to choose which ability you're upgrading. And it's pretty fun that way because you get you can branch out and get all these different abilities. And every match is different. You can play it out however you want. So right now I've got boots as uh, button D. Oh shoot. Oh wait, wait. Is it because my character has um, has levitation already? Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Here's how it's supposed to work. That's better. Make sure nobody else has levitate either. Good, okay. Let's try that again. Don't embarrass me this time. 
Demon settings. All right, so here we go. Um, boom, see, when you use your boots, you run fast. And as you level up your boots, you run faster. Um, but you can now build a building that enables levitation. So it turns your boots into levitation. So we're going to need um, a different level. We're going to need Skybot level 2 to even build. Wait, no, Skybot level 3 to even build. So if I, yeah, if I use my Skybot right now, I can build blocks, bridges, or blocks. Blocks and bridges, basically. Right? Bridges are fun. You can gap things and stuff like Okay. But, um, so we need to level up a bunch. I'm just going to debug this here. Oops, wrong button. Okay, so we're going to upgrade Skybot. I think I have to be level 8 before I can get... Okay, so we got to level up some more. So we can get to Skybot level 3 to make this happen. Because right now, if I go build some more stuff, I can build mines, which are super fun. Or I can build... Uh, well, I need, I need some more... Uh, I was about to say Stormlight. I need more Stormlight because I'm reading Brandon Sanderson's Rhythm of War right now. Um, uh, but yeah, so you can build wards, mines at this level. But now we want to get up to level 8 so that we can build Levitation, Menders, and Guardians. Level 7 and level 8. Okay. And we're going to go upgrade the Skybot to level 3. Boom! So now... Now we can also build guardians, which are these guys that you st you start with one guardian here. Uh, once again, see, I'm using my boots and I can just run. Um, or you can build menders, which are the things that heal you. Here's uh, here's my mender right here. You can build another one. Costs a lot of mana though, or matter points. Uh, or you can build levitation. What levitation does is just a building that if that building exists for your team, you your boots all become levitation. Every member on your team gets levitation. And if that t if that building is destroyed, um, you no longer have levitation. So is that enough? Oh, we need 200. So it's kind of a high level thing, right? You gotta get Skybot level three. You gotta have 200 mana. But here, we've met these conditions, and let's go ahead and build this tower here. This levitation tower, I'm calling it. Looks like a, t looks like a rook from chess. So now, let's get a little more matter. And I can levitate again! Boom! Yes! Super fun. So you, you have the speed of your boots, but you also have the ability to fly. And if I, uh, yeah, you know, let's go ahead and let, um, let's let... Let's let my levitation tower be destroyed. Let's um speed up time and just let these let these creeps come and take over. They should eventually what the heck is that guy doing over there? He's being an idiot. Let's turn on some debug and see what he's thinking. Oh, I turned off his show label. Okay. I need to work on that. Is it because I'm speeding up time so much? Why is that fat guy in the right just doing nothing? Shoot, I don't know if we're gonna... Yeah, there... It, come on, buddy. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get some creeps to kill us at this point. I guess maybe I let, I let the creeps uh, get a little bit too sparsely... Um, oh, there we go! Come on. If this creep can go and destroy my guardian, he should be able. The next one should be able to go and. and get the levitation. Yeah, I think I need to actually put it back to where it's a little. Oh, there we go. Come on. <laughs> I think I made it to. made it so there's too few creeps now. It just has that counter where it's like, hey, um, if there's already four creeps here. Let's just not create any more creeps at this point. Come on, guy. Make a little difference here. Okay, there we... Yes! Alright, alright. Now we're getting somewhere. Let's slow down. Whoa, look how many guys are over here. They just overran that base. Why are they not overrunning my base as much? Look at this. This is even a bomber guy over there. There's tons of them.
Hmm. Need to, okay, so I need to work on that counter thing. We got a guy attacking the mender and a guy attacking the tower here. My skybot's like, what's going on? Oh, hey, let's build a bridge here and let these guys over. Slow, the, slow down time. Oh, this maybe wasn't such a great idea. Come on, guys, walk across the bridge. How did? Why are they all just clustered over here? Come find me, yo! Come get me. I got a levitation tower. You would really, oh, yeah. Blow that up. Blow this up. What did he? Oh, there we go. All right. So once again, I still have levitation, right? This thing, this tower is about to go down. Come on, kill it faster. Ah, <sighs> just I'm just here proving a point, aren't I? Do you wanna Do you wanna keep watching? Do you wanna see if it actually works? This tower gets destroyed, and I can't use my levitation anymore. It should work. <laughs> this pile of enemies over here is just really surprising me. Come on. Take it down. This guy would rather attack me than the tower. I promise this is almost almost there. Yeah, here we go. Some reinforcements. Come over here, guys. Attack this. Yes, there we go. And now I can't use levitation anymore. You like it? You really you enjoy the fact that I let let that point prove itself? All right, so there you have it. That's all that's new with the uh, Wraith Binder this week. What a week, huh? Lots of new stuff. So, um, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Later on, yo!